All right, so we've got some holes drilled and we're going to, nice view of my jacket there. Take out the tuned up custom bull whip today. And we're gonna take some of, these are some Kalen crappie scrubs and uh, they look pretty similar to the crappie magnet, which you see me using in the last, uh, yeah, I think it was a lot, one of the last videos anyway. And I uh, got some other stuff here, some clam plastic, or some some shields plastics rather. These are crappie tubes. I'm gonna try a couple different things here. Um, they work very, very well on perch. Okay, so after the typical GoPro circus, we are ready to drop down and see if we can't get into some perch. I don't know how long I'm gonna fish outside. It's like a freezing mist and the screens of everything are turning to ice. Freaking weather is beautiful except for this mist crap. It's very, very, very light winds today. Pretty warm. There's a fish or maybe not. Maybe that was a screen just being goofy. Every so often I get that blip off the bottom like that. So I tried to actually, uh, if anybody that happens to watch this knows anything about helix i've had hummingbird helixes for five years now but this one this particular seven this is a gen 2 and it does not want to receive updates for some reason i sent it in to the factory not long after i bought it in like i don't even know 2017 or 18 have i had this thing five years probably have the plus minus buttons didn't want to work when you're zooming in and out of the map and sent it back in they worked for a little while and then they quit working again and i just didn't want to be without my graph for for that long, so. There we go. There we go. Oh, got some head shakes. That one come out of nowhere. Not sure what this is. Hopefully, this is a perch. We're to the leader. Hopefully, this isn't a stinking little pike. Oh, I'm scared. That's what this is. Is a pike. Not a very big one, but enough to... No, it is a walleye. A darn nice walleye too, actually. On the old crappie magnet. I'm gonna try the old staple, ouch, first, but boy, we'll take walleyes like that all day long. That's a nice one. Ooh, should I keep or should I let go? I kinda wanna eat fish tonight. That is a beautiful eating size walleye. Ooh, I might regret if I let him go. I'm gonna let this guy go and uh, hopefully catch some perch to eat. Well, kind of, like I said, I figured I'd probably run into some walleyes and I'll take them, I guess, all day long. But I'm really hoping for some perch. But, I start smacking walleyes like that consistently we'll probably mix things up a little bit set up the house and uh, target walleyes maybe some perch will slide in I know a lot of guys fish perch you know pretty deep in the winter 30 feet plus but ran into a lot of perch on transitions like this you know just from rock to mud well, I am at the end of my line of holes here and it's gotten progressively worse all the way across here so I'm not even marking anything the last uh, the last hole I did with these uh, this last one here I have not marked a thing so I think I'm gonna work back the other direction if I start marking a bunch of fish over there and maybe even catching a couple I am probably gonna set up the shack a little bit easier to keep things thought out and uh, frost free that come from sure would be nice to catch it oh there we go I would suspect that this is a tulipy I would suspect means they come in about eight feet off the bottom Looks like a pretty decent fish Wow. Well, 
That's no Tulabi. I think that's going to be Pikey. I would suspect that's Pikey on the bullwhip. I should probably try take an opportunity to get this other line reeled up if I can. Reel it up with my cheek. All right, we got that out of there. Try to get a little bit of line back. It's gotta be a pike. Light rod, fairly light line. And we got him to the leader. Make another run. Pretty certain this is gonna mess up fishing for a little while. Usually when you have this much commotion, this kind of this will kind of wreck stuff for a little while. Hope I at least get to see this fish. Back to the leader again. I'm going to get this transducer out of there. There's his head. There he is. There he was. He didn't like a looking at me. Can't blame him for that. Oh. Hooked on the outside of the mouth, broke off. Huh. That's what I was kind of scared of. That's what I was kind of scared of. Stole the one crappie magnet hook I had. Almost had him. Almost had him. You know, prior to that fish hitting, I was working a slender spoon with uh, that Northland minnow head, whatever it is, for probably 15, 20 minutes. And I was working it high in the water column. And that's about where that fish came in. Although that was, you know, five minutes prior to me seeing him come in. But he came in at least five feet off bottom. All right. There's a fish. We're in a completely different spot. Totally moved. I don't know what this is, probably a walleye. The way it come off the bottom, pretty pretty hard, pretty fast and furious. It's not real big, I'm gonna get this deucer out of there. That'll be my... It is a little, whoa. Little, little, little walleye. He freaking choked that. Hopefully I don't have to go dig out a pliers to get that out of him. There he goes. Just a little, little guy, but let him go. It's not what we're looking for. Looking for more yellow fish with black stripes, but at least they're aggressive, a little more aggressive here, at least that one was. It's nice out, very little wind. Still everything wants to ice up. It's kind of too bad we have not caught our target species today. We caught almost everything but. We haven't caught any saugers or crappies e either, I guess. Looks like there may be a little something there on the bottom. Breaking off here. Acting pretty crappie-ish. Here he comes. Ooh, this is a little bit better. It's like it's swimming up this. Almost feels like this could be a bass. It is a crappie. 
It is a crappie and it is too deep for me not to keep. A little ice freezing on my reel there. It's not a big one, but it is a crappie. We're gonna have to keep him because we're in 28 feet of water and I don't think he'll release. And I was kind of looking for some fish for dinner tonight, so that'll work just fine. Nice. We got a little bit more life on the bottom there. Get him to come up. This could very well be a crappie too. Here he comes. Charging pretty slow, but steady. Come on, come on, come on. He's coming. There he is. Oh, nice. This might be a little bit nicer than crappie if it is, or I don't think this is a crappie. Must be a walleye. Oh, everything's froze. Gonna have to hand over hand them. Hopefully, don't lose them doing this. Because we're gonna have a mess, I got a feeling. It is a smallmouth bass. And a feisty, pretty nice one, too. The reason I said on the last fish I thought it might be a smallmouth is because I've caught a few smallmouth here. But this guy is pale. I'm going to have to go grab my pliers so I got one with me. There, I got it. So a chunky, uh, I have 14, 15 inch smallmouth. Pretty nice fish. Let him go. See you there, bud. Well, that was cool. It is for sure turning into a multi-species bite now. Everything except for what I wanted to catch today. Well, I was scooping some of the holes around. Boom, he's, oh. Boy, he come up fast. I was scooping some of the holes around and uh, just had my bait hung like three feet up. Walk by and there's a mark on it. This is gonna be. Oh, he's off. He's off. No. Oh. Dang. I'm suspecting walleye. The way it felt, but not sure. Get back down again. I guess. Uh, don't walk away from your. From your line all right well we are starting to lose daylight and it is much much quieter now i don't know if uh these fish moved if i moved them off of here or, or what my chest camera keeps dying so apparently it's gonna have to go with what we got kind of a fun day caught a few didn't hammer them i probably should have uh definitely taken advantage of of the warmer weather not sat so long but it's just easier to keep the cameras going and all that other stuff and i you know marked some fish and caught a couple there so Lost that nice pike, but I'm feeling pretty silly for not keeping that walleye now earlier. But now the conditions are looking more favorable. Probably going to be doing a little bit more exploring here pretty soon. I think we got pretty decent ice now. We're probably at 18 inches here, but there's just a lot of snow, big drifts, like I said earlier. And but days like today, when it's pretty still and and uh, not very cold, are, are the days you definitely got to take advantage of. But appreciate you guys coming along. Hope you guys have a great New Year. It is New Year's Day today. I'm not sure when this video will come out. Hope you can get out, enjoy God's great outdoors, and we will see you on the next one.